What's up champions? Welcome to another video. So in this video, I want to explain the perfect pull-up. So the perfect pull-up is a brilliant exercise developed by the late Franco Colombo. I have him there on the wall and who had just an incredibly, incredibly good looking back, back and he did no weighted pull-ups. He only did bodyweight pull-ups, but he did perfect pull-ups. So that doesn't mean your pull up right now, if it's all the way up, it doesn't mean it's not perfect. It's good looking, proper, proper form pull up. But the perfect pull up is when you pull all the way up, directly up, maintaining full retraction and depression, of course. So meaning on top, you're not in like neutral position or even, or even hollow, which would be even worse, but you're in a nice retracted position. So that's why it's working a lot of your back. And this is kind of a problem these days because so many, uh, so many people tend to pull mo mostly on their arms. So you see that really close grip, head forward, down like this, protracted position, pulling like this. This is mostly pulling on the brachialis and brachioradialis, and you might get a tennis elbow from that as well, because you're abusing that a lot. So you need to also do chin-ups to engage that bicep. But if you're doing chin-ups as well like this, then uh, your back is not gonna be very, very well developed. Of course, if you pair some chin-ups with some rows, that's definitely a good idea. But as you get stronger, you simply need to work towards the perfect pull-up. So brilliant exercise developed by Franco Colombo, who had an inc incredible good looking back. And this will also improve your overall pulling strength. So if right now, maybe your pull-up pull looks like this right now, so you're really leaning forward on protraction. If you practice the perfect pull-up, oof, you'll, you'll develop a way more balanced shoulder girdle. You'll develop some strength in that external rotation and really improve your retraction, meaning improve your overall pulling strength. Your pull-up will actually look different if you practice uh, that perfect pull-up in the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months, and develop good strength there. What is good strength there? It's five sets of five reps with a clean touch chest to bar that I would say is very good, very good bent arm pulling strength. So the perfect pull-up, definitely one of the things to practice. Quickly regarding the form, we pull directly down, first initiate that depression, obviously, and pull directly down, maintaining retracted in the press capital position. And the most important thing here is, what are you thinking about when you're doing the pull-up? And you're not thinking about getting your chin over, you're not thinking, oh, I need to bring my chest to the bar. No, all you're thinking is here, engaging depression, and then bringing your elbows back and down in this position. Boom, that's the most important thing. So really focusing on the back, if you want the back to work. I think that makes sense. So yeah, that's about it. Now let's take a look at the technique and some common mistakes. Boom. All right, so this is basically the perfect pull-up. Very simple, not too complicated. So in starting by engaging that depression and really thinking of bringing the elbows back and down up to here, so very important. Um, and very important detail here as well is not to use your core. So if you have very strong core, then you tend to be in that position of the chin up. So I'm also one of those guys. I don't have the best retraction strength, but here on top, I engage my core. I'm really strong here in protracted position. And I always finish that pull strong. But in the perfect pull up, I don't want to be using my core. So it's very important already in the hang to go anterior in the hips and to squeeze those glutes. And somebody actually asked me just yesterday how do I squeeze my glutes when I'm anterior. It's very simple. Simply try to externally rotate the hip. So if you're standing right now like this on the floor, then simply try to externally rotate your feet. So think of your feet and try to bring them outwards. And that will engage the glute no matter the position. So I can be anterior right now and I put the feet to the side, already feel my glute. So here it really helps if you go wide with the knees then go anterior and to be efficient, you can also bend at the knees. So basically the start of the hang is very important. So if I, I can't do a perfect pull up like this, I simply can't. So I have to go either here anterior and squeeze in the glutes. So either in this position to make sure my core is not working or I even bend the knees like this. So this is very important. If your knees are rising up during the perfect pull up, then you're not isolating the back. And that's the point of the perfect pull, is to really work our back. And funny enough, people who have troubles being locked anterior like this, those are usually the people who have best retraction strength. Because when they're doing their pull-ups, their rows, 
their front lever work, they're usually anterior, so can't really engage their core, so that's why the back strength is so, uh, is so great, usually, not always, but usually. So here you really have to make sure to go anterior in the hips, very important, because you cannot do a perfect pull up with engaged core. It's, it's, I can try it, let's see. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't really work. You have to arch here, so you have to go anterior, but really make sure you squeeze those glutes. So learn how to do that correctly, so you take the pressure off the lower back. Here, very important detail as well, is pulling directly up. We don't want to be pulling around the bar. So sometimes I show the perfect pull up to somebody, and then they show me this. And retraction is good usually, but they show me this. You know, it's not the same thing. You have to pull, if I'm from here, directly up. And that's why it's fucking freaking difficult, it, just because of this fact. So it's not pulling away from the bar, it's not also pulling away and then close to the bar, like it would look like a normal pull-up, but really pulling directly up. So again, a normal pull-up with going a little bit away from the bar and then close to it, also protracting on top. So basically a normal pull-up would look like this. Well, the perfect pull-up, you saw that, one line up and down. So make sure the movement is symmetrical, so make sure that one shoulder is not popping up and down, so here engage that clear depression and then pull all the way up. Make sure you pull directly up, so not away from the bar, and make sure to maintain that full retraction. So yeah, also make sure to not engage your core, Jesus Christ, so many details. But if you rewatch the video, I'm sure you can get it right. So let's go from down to up. So starting with legs slightly bent, knees behind you, anterior pelvic tilt, but squeeze those glutes, and then simply engage the depression, and with retracted scapula position, pull as high as you can. So don't aim for touching the bar just right away. So if you can pull, let me show it from here. If you can pull half of the way, that's still very good. That's still brilliant, you can still do the exercise. So if I can just pull up to here, I'm definitely feeling my back working, like I really feel it in the middle of the back right now. So it doesn't matter if you can't pull all the way up, if you can pull up to half, basically you can get four reps, you can definitely get a very nice, very nice sensation with the perfect pull. And the last minor detail is, which is actually a very important detail, start supinated if pronated grip is still too difficult. So neutral grip feels very nice, supinated also feels very nice. Neutral actually feels for me by far the easiest. So I don't have a bar here that would serve that purpose, but neutral grip, perfect uh, pull up, phenomenal, feels phenomenal. And with the chin grip also, you can get a very nice sensation and it's slightly easier than the pull up. So if pull up is still like, you can even pulling it to halfway, it just doesn't feel that good. In that case, you can go with the chin up version but really think of bringing the elbows back and down. So you see, mm, retraction, arch, lower back, and really feeling my back. So even though here it's supinated grip, I don't even feel the bicep engagement because I'm mostly pulling on my back. Whew. So yeah, don't engage your core, make sure to maintain that depression, pull up as high as you can with maintaining full retraction so you don't want to protract in this one. So really think of bringing the elbows down and back behind you. And that's basically it regarding all the details. So that is the perfect pull up. Let me give you just a couple of more reps to see how it goes. And here, don't go extremely wide because that makes the range of motion smaller. So it's actually easier for me to get a touch on the chest if I go a little bit wider, because then the bar is closer. So about shoulder width apart or a little bit wider, that's actually kind of the most difficult position.
All right, so that would be the perfect pull-up. How often to do this, how many reps, how many sets? So the easiest way to explain it is when you have a pulling session, simply add the perfect pull-up to your practice. Now, if you're a beginner maybe or intermediate level, you can do about five, seven pull-ups. I wouldn't save the perfect pull-up till the end of your practice. So if you can do about five, eight pull-ups, meaning you can do about maybe three, four reps in the perfect pull-ups when you're fresh, uh, in that case, make sure to put the perfect pull-up as the first and the primary exercise of your practice. Yes, it is that important. So if you're a beginner intermediate level, do it as the first exercise because it's going to be very difficult. Do about three to five reps uh, for about three to five sets. And how many times per week? As often as you have your pulling session. So about two times per week, I'm guessing for some people, maybe three times per week. Uh, if, however, you're on an advanced stage, so you're practicing, like maybe you're very close to that one on chin-up, you're practicing weighted chin-ups with 40, 50, 60 kgs, and by a true miracle, you never actually seen the perfect pull-up, uh, so you never used it before, so make sure you start doing this now. So even if you're, maybe you can already pull a one on chin-up, but you've never done perfect pull-ups, start doing them. And if they're too easy body weight, chest to bar, then go weighted, go weighted 10 kgs, 20 kgs, because it's such a beneficial exercise that will improve your front lever as well, but improve your overall pulling strength and your retraction. So just simply phenomenal exercise. So if you're advanced, I would first do my share of weighted pull-ups or weighted chin-ups, and then I would go uh, and do the perfect pull-ups for about three to five sets. Uh, usually I go for five reps. So I think for advanced athletes, five reps. And even if it's not all the way up, that's okay. So as long as you maintain that full retraction and depression, that's perfect. So yeah, I'll usually go for about five sets of five reps, very simple, five by five, to finish my pulling session. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Make sure to implement the perfect pull-up uh, in your practice and you'll have amazing results regarding your pulling strength and also your shoulders will thank you a lot. So that's about it for this video. Make sure to write out in the comment section below what do you think about this. Also, if you had some good results with the perfect pull-up. Uh, and uh, yeah, make sure to write down also what, what keeps you up at night. What's that thing that you have troubles with and you simply cannot address it regarding strength training, mobility work, maybe you want to learn clips. So whatever it is that you want to see in the next video, just write it down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to make it happen. And for those of you truly invested, and I'm guessing that's everybody who watched the video this far is probably very invested. Make sure to click that link in the, in the description and get further education about strength training and about mobility work. So you receive quality emails, you get on my email list on the insiders group and you receive quality emails about strength training, mobility work, how professionals train to really achieve top level results. So make sure to click that link and I'll see you guys there. Thank you so much for your time. Boom. Remember, you're a champion. <laughs>